we're talking about how to find the area of a regular polygon. Does anybody remember what a regular polygon is? Yes. Regular polygon, all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. So like the lateral triangle, the square, your pentagon, where all five sides are equal, your hexagon, where all five sides are equal, all five angles are equal. Okay. Those are regular um, polygons. Okay. Anytime you have a regular polygon, it can be inscribed in a circle. Okay. When you inscribe the polygon in a circle, each of the vertices lies on the circle. Okay. So this is an inscribed uh, pentagon. Each of the vertices lies on the circle. So when you do that, the center of the circle is also the center of your polygon. So what would be the center? Here. Okay. Now remember, a radius is a segment that goes from the center to a point on the circle, okay? Um, so if you look here, PE goes from the center to a point on the circle. It also goes from the center of the polygon to the vertex of the regular polygon. So it goes from the center to the circle and from the center to the vertex of the polygon. So PE is a radius. Do I have another radius drawn? PQ so is not... P goes from the center, but it doesn't go to the circle. Okay, but P, B, but P, right? Okay, now if you remember back from the last chapter, we have what's called a central angle. And a central angle is, uh, uh, a central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center. Okay, so what, um, and the sides are radii of the circle. So what would be my central angle? of the central angle, uh, we learned in the last chapter, is equal to the measure of its arc, okay? So that would be equal to the measure of ED. Now, because this is a, um, a regular, uh, because it is a regular polygon, all of these arcs are going to be equal because all of these chords are equal, right? And remember, if you have two chords that are equal, then the arcs are equal, right? So if I actually want to find the measure of it, I know that there's 360 degrees in a circle, how many arcs are there? Five, same as the number of sides, right? So to find the measure of it, I would do 360 divided by five, and that ends up being 72 degrees. And so this arc is 72, which means the angle is also 72. Yeah. What? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I just... Okay, so that's the measure of the central angle. Now, here's a new term. This is what's called an apothem. An apothem is a, a segment that goes from the center perpendicular to the side of the polygon. And that would be PQ. So it's a segment drawn from the center of the regular polygon perpendicular to the side. Well, you can see that when you draw it, okay, that it is actually the altitude of this triangle EPD. Okay? And these are radii, so this is an isosceles triangle. When you draw an altitude or a height, it bisects the angle. It also bisects the opposite side. So lots of things happen when you drop that pop. Okay. Now, the actual formula for the area of a regular polygon is half the perimeter times the apothem. Okay? And the perimeter is the perimeter of the polygon. And the apothem is that segment that goes from the center perpendicular to the side. Okay? Um, so we're going to find uh, the perimeter and the area of each one of these. Now, before we can find the perimeter, and, and these are all regular polygons, before we can find the perimeter, we've got to know how many sides there are. So you would need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's kind of, what kind of a polygon has nine sides? Not a dot, right? Okay, and one of them is 12, so if it's regular, they're all 12. So how would I find the perimeter? 12 times nine, right? So if I do 12 times nine, 
um, I think that's 108, right? 108. Okay, so that's my perimeter, it's 108. So then to find my area, I'm going to do perimeter times the pothom divided by 2. So I found my perimeter to be 108. My apothem is the segment that goes from the center perpendicular to the side. So what's my apothem? 16.5. So I multiply that by 16.5 and divide by 2. So my perimeter is 108 times the apothem divided by 2. So 108 times 16.5 divided by 2 gives me 891 units squared. Okay, so let's look at the next one. How many sides does it have? 5. So let's delete the one of the sides. 15.3. So we would do 5 times 15.3 to get my perimeter. That would be 76.5. Okay. So then to find the area, we take that perimeter, which is 76.5, and multiply it by what? By the apothem, which is 10.5. And then divide by 2. So we do 76.5 times 10.5 divided by 2. And that's 401.6. Now, it doesn't say to round to the nearest 10, and since it's terminating, we just leave it, okay? It said round to the nearest 10, then obviously 401.6, but it doesn't say to round, so we're just going to leave it like that. So, perimeter, add up all the sides, times the apothem, divided by 2. All right, all right, one more. The top of an umbrella shown is a regular hexagon with a side length of 2 feet and an apothem of 1.5 feet. What is the area of the entire umbrella to the nearest 10? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find the perimeter, right? How many sides are there? Six. And one length of one side is two. So what would the perimeter be? Two times six, which is 12, right? So then the area is perimeter times apothem divided by two. So we would take the perimeter. What's my apothem? 25 divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 1.5 and that gives 89 squared. Questions? Pretty easy when I give you a side length and I give you the apothem. Now, to make it more difficult, I could just give you the apothem or I could just give you the side length, okay? And in that case, you would have to go about finding it, and you would have to work, like in this case, you'd have to work with 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, and the one, you know, some of the other ones, that be, you'd have to do so to find all the pieces that you need, okay? So it could can, it can be more difficult, um, you know, if you do that, because, you know, this ends up being a 30, 60, 90, and, you know, like I said, it could be a lot more difficult because you have to find them. But we're just doing the basics. Give me the side link. I give you the apothem. Okay? Alright, any questions?